Made himself at home. Track mud in all over the floors. Maybe she'll finally move in with him. Hard time. Geralt, I've got a problem. Can we talk? Yes, Geralt? Spoke with Radovid. Offered me a contract. To find Philippa. The bastard. Wasn't enough that he poked her eyes out? Probably wants to torture her some more. You turned him down, of course. No. Geralt, you know what he did to her. Relax. See, I figured if I agreed, I could look for her without his men getting in my way. Fact is, I'm curious to know what happened to her. So? Learn anything? Even better, found this. A megascope crystal. Hmm, it's damaged, but it could still work. And Francesca's equally hesitant. Neither she nor Ida wishes to decide blindly. They'll stop hesitating as soon as we convince Kira and Fringilla. Fringilla's on our side. She'll join us as soon as she's finished some business in Nilfgaard. Wonderful. That leaves Kira. The problem is, I've still no notion where she could be. Yennefer and Triss. Yennefer's never belonged to the Lodge. And Triss? Well, we shall see. I must regain my vision. I can go to Novigrad, then see Arthur de Ballista. The word is, Triss is also carousing about the city. You still insist? Phil, pardon my saying so, but you will never regenerate your eyes on your own. Vilgefortz did it. I'm employing the same method, cultivating tissue on precious stones. It's mass. You will need advanced power. You'll put yourself in great danger. That's it. That's all I could recover. I get that right? Philippa says she wants to restore her vision? Seems she was planning to grow tissue on precious stones. Makes sense. Found agates covered in blood in her hideout. If she pulled it off, she'd only be the second person in the world to do so. But the bit about the lodge, that's what I found interesting. Meaning what exactly? The names they mentioned. All the most powerful sorceresses. Former members of the lodge. They clearly mean to revive it. That good or bad? Depends for who. Philip has always said that if magic perishes, so shall this world. And the Lodge was to protect the mages and their interests. Radovid and the Emperor, on the other hand, would not be pleased. Both would have to respect our opinions, and neither likes to share power. Our opinions? You join them? Really? No. I've got other plans. So, what will you do with the crystal? Haven't decided. Ed Radovid would be very interested in it. You're not gonna give it to him, are you? Probably better if you keep it. Much better. It'll be safe with me. I'll try to cast a diagnostic spell. Maybe learn something more. Good luck. Geralt, I've got a problem. Can we talk? What a bloody day. Double shows. It's not too late to repent. Eternal fire. Father of all. The eternal fire. 
Any needs won't stop. This is the ship of His Majesty Radovid V, King of Redania. State your business. I want to see the King. It's about Philippa Eilhart. If that's the case, come with me. But no sudden moves. I've got my eye on you. Witcher, any progress? Have you found Eilhart? She definitely hid where your men said. But I arrived too late. Fortunately or not, can't really say. There'd been a fire in the hideout. Philip had died in the flames, most likely. A fitting end for a witch. So, have you any proof? No, but you have my word. <laughs> your word? You give me your word? Sorry, but Eilhart herself taught me to doubt everyone, especially their word. So we've naught to talk about. Farewell. Crawl back under your rat. Like he said. Geralt of Rivia, known as the White Wolf, the Butcher of Blaviken. Geralt of Rivia is enough. What is it? A man came to me a few years past, paid me to keep a book for you, said you'd come for it one day. Who was he? Um, he didn't introduce himself, but the book has a red cover, that I remember. I'm sure I've not sold it. All right, see if I can find it. And perhaps glance at the others while you're at it. Be glad to look over what you got.
treatment of furuncles through cauterization, a study. My manifesto must be it. There's a letter inside. Moribundia, the vampire's last likeness. Tyromancy, the noble art of cheese divination. Interested in books? You don't look the scholar, but well, we've ones with drawings as well. Up for a few rounds of Gwent?
But finding me proved no simple task. For having fallen afoul of Novigrad's underworld bosses, I'd disappeared. Yet Geralt soon discovered my whereabouts, a cell in the dungeon of the Temple Guard. With the help of our friends, Geralt managed to free me. Good thing, too. For indeed, I knew what had happened to Ciri. Sadly, she was no longer in Novigrad. Pursued by bandits, then cornered by the Temple Guard, she had disappeared in a flash of light and a gust of heat. Where to? This I did not know. Interested in books? Up for... Cabbage last night. I drink all I had. Welcome, welcome. Show me what you have in stock.
was coming. Felt it, mother. Made yourself at home. Track mudded all over the floors. Maybe she'll finally move in with him. High time. Geralt, I've got a problem. Can... Yes, Geralt? What did you want to talk about? I got a strange message. I don't quite know what to think. Who was it from? Ingrid Vagelbud's servant. Apparently, Lady Vagelbud's prepared to donate a tidy sum. She wants to help mages escape from Novigrad. Guessing this wouldn't be a selfless act of charity. You guess right. And that's my problem. Vagelbud needs a favor from me. No details in the letter, unfortunately. I'm supposed to meet the servant at the fish market. Says he needs to explain everything face to face, but these days I can't be sure meeting him's a good idea. What are you afraid of exactly? That it's a trap. On the one hand, it's an opportunity I can't afford to let slip. We need the coin. On the other... Nobody expects you to risk your life. I expect that of myself. The thing is, it used to be easier. When I didn't know what happens when the witch hunters get their hands on you. You could have escaped at any time. I know, but I was still terrified. What if they fetter me in real Dimeridian? You won't always be there to help. Who's this Ingrid Vagelbud? The Vagelbuds are one of the city's most influential families. Somewhat atypical, the women have been in charge for generations. Patricia Vagelbud's the current mater familias. Ingrid's her daughter. Know her personally? No, seen her, that's all. And I've heard rumors. She's admired in Novigrad for her business acumen, and adored for the lavish balls she throws at the family estate outside town. Though the balls probably serve her business interests in some way. Don't like this at all, but you seem determined. Not about to let you deal with it alone. Thank you. The servant. How are you supposed to contact him? Said I'd recognize him. He'll be in a blue tunic, have a load of keys strapped to his belt. I'm supposed to ask him about the price for his trout. Whose idea you think this was? The servants or Vagelbuds? My bet's on Ingrid. Highborn damsels have a lot more time than their servants to read adventure novels. Think it'll be better if I talk to the mystery man in the blue tunic? He's expecting to meet me. You just wait nearby. I'll make sure that note didn't come from the witch hunters. Then you come in. Mm-hmm. Fine. Let's meet there. Yes, Geralt? So... Jerkins. Interesting. That's some lovely singing. Wanted to ask you. Hi. How can I be of service? <laughs> know who'll give me the best price on trout? But taking the season for trout. Buy a bucket of oysters. Please the wife like never before. Let me out his wounds. Geralt of Rivia. The King Radovid. And she replied. Greetings. Yeah. Heard you can get fresh trout around here. 
cheap. What? Trout? Touch a trout? <laughs> Get chewed out. <laughs> Understand? It'll give you a right bollock. <laughs> Oh. 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 Spends all her days in the chapel. Yeah. Know where I can get the best price on trout? Perhaps. But it wasn't you I was to meet, sir. Want to talk to the letter's recipient? I gotta be present. Caution would advise... Caution's advising you not to argue right now. Trust me. Seems I've got no choice. Come with me. Uh. This way. It's not far away. Ooh. Where are you going? Oh, terrible times. The guards have got themselves a brothel in the dungeon. Where they keep the witches. What did they want from you? I've no clue. First time I've laid eyes on them. Maybe. Well, recently someone's been trying to question our messengers about the young Count. Hold on. Where's Miss Merigold? You would you come alone, Miss? If not for him, that trio would have dragged you in for questioning. The tall one was Valdo Morris. Works for the witch hunters. Aye, you're surely right, Miss. I it, it just weren't what I expected since Lady Vagel, bud. Now that we're past the initial courtesies, maybe you can tell us who you are. Lady Vagelbud's valet. I... I meant you no offense, sir. Why wouldn't Lady Vagelbud meet with me personally? She was afraid they'd follow her. Been a nervous wreck of late. So what's this about? Be straight. Lady Vagelbud's son is the... problem. Master Albert's taken an interest in alchemy. Temple Guard's gotten wind. Wouldn't worry about the guard. But since the mage hunters tried to grab you, I'd say Albert's in serious trouble. Aye. Lady Vogelbud bought off the guardsmen. But since the hunters paid for every mage revealed to him... Guardsmen took a bribe from the frightened family, then whispered a word to the hunters anyway. How'd Ingrid Vogelbud know to contact Triss? That Triss was the right person? We learned Miss Merigold had helped Myra Base disappear once the witch hunters were onto her. Myra provided Lady Ingrid with magical assistance on a few occasions with Milady's um, afflictions. Makes sense. Myra mentioned treating a highborn lady to me once. Seems Albert needs to disappear as soon as possible. I can arrange that. Think young Vagelbud can slip out of the house unnoticed? Tain't that simple, sadly. Master Albert's in hiding at the Vagelbud's country estate. Lady Ingrid's got the notion she can get him out quietly. Wants to throw a lavish masquerade ball. Am I supposed to attend? Help him escape? I will not manage without you, miss. Lady Vagelbud fears the help's being watched. It's a good idea. A boisterous bash. That'll distract the hunters. Especially if even half of what I've heard about the Vagelbud's balls is true. Word is, at the last one, they served a hundred different desserts, and the fireworks boomed from dusk till dawn. What with the war and all, Milady's ordained but 85 desserts this time. Won't be no candied petals of blue roses from Nazaire. The roses have become dreadfully hard to come by. Oh, I'd love to see it all. Expect any trouble during the ball? Hardest part will be to keep Master Albert's departure a secret from his grandmother. Is that necessary? Lady Patricia's a fervent believer of the eternal fire. Knows naught about Albert's interests in alchemy. Luckily, the elder Lady Vagelbud's a rare visitor to the country residence. Truly an atypical family. I'm not one to judge, sir. Hope we won't have to stay till the end. You're coming with me? Of course I am. Not about to send you into what could prove to be the lion's den by yourself. Think about it. 85 desserts. 
Well, you're still trying to keep your waist at 22 inches. Geralt, please. How do we get to the residence? Your invitation. Take it. The guard at the gate will have instructions for you. You're to wear a fox mask, all right? Good luck to you. Think we can head there now? You're kidding, right? We have to prepare, change clothes, most importantly, buy our masks. I bet you can get everything we need for the ball at Eliel's shop. You know it? Been there before. Eliel's a friend of Dandelion's. Just masks, right? Probably don't need to wear a doublet, do I? A doublet, Geralt. And it's not up for discussion. Take care of that, then come and see me. You're in your kin's humble servant. Hmm. Have a hard time finding any work here, watcher. Greetings! Greetings! Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Glad to take a glance at what you got. Of course, please do. If anything chafes or pinches, I can alter it on the spot at no charge. Once I'm done, it'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all. Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards.
The same are there to rise. Then, that cabin, we're off. Waste of time. Not sounds of warrior. Went off with Radovid to clobber the black ones. Hey, pretty boy. What a okay, wobbly. It's a bad boy. Armed in town. Scandalous. Made yourself at home, track mudded all over the floors. Maybe she'll finally move in with him. High time. certainly took my request to heart. You mean you weren't being serious? Still got time to change. Don't you dare. You look great. You get everything? Learn anything else about Albert? Well, almost none of the mages have heard of him. An amateur, I guess. So why the interest? Temple guards first, then hunters? Uh, he's easy prey. And that's exactly why we should help him. Everything's ready. We can go. A shame events like this are so rare. Without them, I'd never get to see you dressed up. Uh, damn, doublets chafing my armpits. And it feels like they sewed wires into this. I'll be sure to admire your valiant suffering the whole time. Well then, shall we go? Greetings, my lord, my lady. We're Lady Ingrid Vagelbud's guests. Your invitation, please. All is in order. You'll find Lady Vagelbud in the estate's yard. Look for the parrot mask. Uh, one more thing. Uh, leave your swords here, please. Fine. A pleasant evening to you both. It's beautiful here. I haven't been outside the city in ages. How could he? With that scrawny harlot. Come now, don't cry. After all, he's not the only man in the world. But he's a baronet. Where will I find another baronet? <laughs> Do not. I repeat, do not come any closer. Are you still here? Do not. I repeat, do I'm not no come mood. any closer. I'm in no mood. Well, well. Hello, Vivian. No use pretending you don't know. Is that any way to treat an old mate? Refuse to acknowledge him? There's been a mistake. I don't know you, sir. Don't be foolish, Vivian. I'd recognize that mane anywhere. You might play the great dame now, but before that Baron Edward something pulled you from the gutter, you were a common... Enough. The lady said she doesn't know you. Who's this? The new one? Older than the last, it seems. A decrepit, moss-covered prick. So, the less they can, the more they pay. Is that it? Let's go, Triss. Wouldn't want to make a scene. Vivian! Hey! Oh, I liked you much better when you worked the carriages outside the passive floor, huh? Come back! What a jackass. I'm not done with you. On a clear day, you can see Nilfgaard's banners from the city walls. Well, well. Back again, me, Vivian. Trap. 
I bid you a cool farewell. Don't be brash. I'm getting old. <laughs> I'm a Kraken! <laughs> My, is he ever sorted? Yes. Why would a witcher come here? Stop whining and bring a shrimp uh, and a trumpet! Late for supper again. Chew up. Momentary. Moritz, what are you doing here? Little Miss Miracle. Well, well. And I was led to believe this would be an elegant affair. Yes, I missed you too. But can we put that aside for now? Do you have a way out of Novigrad? You can join us if you want. Join you? And just who would I join? Your friends, among others. Once we've all gathered, I'll lead you. You will lead? Forgive me, Marigold, but that is like allowing myself to be led by a lame duck. Farewell. Didn't like that guy. Why'd you insist on talking to him? He's an old friend. His name's Moritz Dyfenthal. Tell you the story later. Oh, let's look around. Scouring by the butt going down. Do you remember the wind? My father and I were champions. I knew all the rims Power of the eternal fire. Well, like this is Zima. I wish to go to the word is it's more like a very good I know. Hard finding so work here, you know. With the eternal so. fire burning and all that. The second sword, is it in case the first one breaks? Ah, another challenger. Please join us. Sir Devonant just vacated this place at the table. It's rather unlikely you'll be back. What happened to him? Some good men took him aside to prevent him from hurting himself. So, shall we play? First, you shall face Margrave Vladimir de Cray. The man can afford to lose, so he's likely to be reckless. Let's do it. See you, Geralt.
One more round? When the cards come your way, you must spring on the opportunity. Your next opponent, Count Gomu Sili. In his day, his father lost the family estate in the Nimnar Valley. Seems Gomu has followed in his footsteps. Yet, do not underestimate him. Desperate men can be dangerous. Let's do it. With the eternal fire burning and all that. One more round? When the cards come your way, you must spring on the opportunity. Sir Marius Florin. They say he never loses thanks to his Zugelbone amulet. Naturally, I could tell you more on the subject, but... Let's do it.
So, one more round. When the cards come your way, you must. Sir Marius, they. Let's do.